Uh, hello everybody, welcome to watch this video. In this video we're going to discuss with you about some algorithmic problems that related to the Star Wars. This is uh, some potential scenario for the episode 27, 10, 27 of Star Wars. And the background of the story is as follows. Uh, there are those who insist that the initial working title for episode 27 of the Star Wars series was P equals to MP, but this is surely apocryphal. In any case, if you are so inclined, it's easy to find MP complete problems lurking just below the surface of the original Star Wars movies and consider the problem faced by Luke, Leia, and friends as they try to make their way from the Death Star back to the hidden rebel base. We can view the galaxy as an undirected graph G equals to VE, where each node is a star system and an edge UV indicates that one can travel directly from U to V. The Death Star is represented by a node S, the hidden rebel base by a node T, so the edges in this graph represent longer distances than others. Thus, each HE has an integer length LE, which is greater than or equal to zero. Also, certain edge represented routes that are more heavily patrolled by evil imperial spacecraft, so each HE also has an integer risk, RE, which is greater than or equal to zero, indicating the expected amount of damage incurred from special effects intensive space battles if one traverses this edge. And it would be safest to travel through the outer ring of the galaxy from one quiet upstate star system to another. But then one's ship would run out of fuel long before getting to its destination, and alternatively, it would be quickest to plunge through the cosmopolitan core of the galaxy. But then there would be far too many imperial spacecraft to deal with. And in general, for any path P from S to T, we can define its total length as to be the sum of the lengths of all its edges, and we can define its total risk to be the sum of the risks of all its edges. So Luke, Laya, and company are looking at a complex type of shortest path problem in this graph. They need to get from S to T along a path whose total length and total risk are both reasonably small in concrete terms, we can phrase the galactic shortest path problem as follows. Given a setup as above, an integer bound L and R, is there a path from S to T whose total length is at the most T and whose total risk is at the most R? And we have to prove that the galactic shortest path problem is MB complete. What can we start? Uh, remember that when we are studying the traveling, sales problem, tra traveling salesman problems, uh, there is a decision version of the traveling salesman problem that is given a set of distances on any cities and about D is their tool of length at most D. So, let's start with producing a copy of a given traveling salesman problem. A decision version of that? And we produce a doubling of the vertices. That means we Produce the copy, a clone of the vertices of the original one, and uh, we let the path, the 
the length of the edges between the twins of the original vertices is zero, and let this twin vertices also has the same connections to the original neighboring vertices, and so on. So that means once we reach from v11 to v12, then we can go from v12 to v21, then go to v22, and go back to v11, and so on. That means if we want to take the shortest path, if we go from vertices vi1 to vi2 because the length is zero, so we can use this as some step stone for traveling the path. So the bound, integer bounds L and R, how do we set up the reduction versions of the original traveling salesman problem decision version? We, ha we can set up the new instance of the galactic shortest path problem with the, the bounds L and R equally to the original weight of the original traveling salesman problem and uh, L, E, and R, E, and also we set up R as the original traveling salesman problems, uh, the bounds for the decision version, D, and it will be easy to show that once we found the galactic shortest path problem, the best solution we can, uh, in polynomial time, it will be easily to solve the original decision versions of the traveling sales problems in polynomial time. So if you're interested in this galactic traveling problems, uh, you're welcome to join us to the following episodes of this galactic algorithmic videos. Recently we found that there is a book which has been published which is related to the galactic planet or so on. So we are interested in what they have described and how they have described uh, how to use this mathematics to help uh, the planet to get bigger. So we hope that uh, we can create it or maybe trying to extend this marathon to the universe level. And thanks for listening to this video. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye.